If we could see the battle that goes on between angels and demons, I reckon it would look a little bit like that. Fighting over us to protect us or destroy us. And there is a war that we don't see because it happens like what I read. Um, angels are ministering spirits. They don't have bodies. We can't see them. But they're fighting for us to protect us. I guess um, the next clip I want to show, um, I mean that clip for me, when I was watching Transformers, I was watching a couple of days ago, kind of looking for the, the clips I want to use, that kind of really set it for me, in terms of, I, kind of, I, want to, I had to choose between a couple, because there's so many of them in the two movies, but the fact that, you know, they're fighting for each other, like Megatron says there, humans don't deserve to live. And... I was fine saying, well, they deserve to choose themselves. There is a war going on between them. And it's what we need to recognize or understand is that, Optimus. I guess, I mean, the fact that you're here is not a mistake. The fact that you're here means that God wanted you to be here tonight. That you are chosen. And I guess there's something linked in with that. So let's have a look at the second clip, and we'll keep Skip the third clip, by the way. We'll go straight to the fourth one. Um, in the second movie, in Transformers, uh, it kind of starts off, um, you know, similar Autobots still fighting the Decepticons, and Sam's going to college. The main character you saw on the screen, you haven't seen the movie. And uh, he chooses not to take Bumblebee, the character there, leaves him in the garage. And I guess one of the points that I wanted to, to raise, I'm going to finish after this with, with another clip, and then we're going to wind up. Don't leave your angels in the garage. Leave Bumblebee in the garage, gets into a whole lot of trouble at, at college before Bumblebee turns up to save him. And a lot of the time, we leave the angels in the garage. You know, when, you know when we talk about prayer and reading the Bible and that kind of stuff, you know the reason why we say it's so important is that when you pray, when you read the Bible, it actually empowers your angels. It strengthens them. And a lot of the time, we do none of that. Because we don't even really have a relationship with God. So we leave our angels in the garage. And we head on out. What I want to do with this last clip is just finish off. Um, I guess it shows, I love this clip. This is my favorite clip of the second movie. I guess when I, when I see movies with clips that, that, that talk about or show sacrifice in some way, I get teary, I get emotional. Because of my personal relationship with God and with Jesus Christ, I see the link. And this really does show that link really well. So I'm going to show you this clip, last clip. I'm going to wind up and I want to pray for you guys. So let's see if we can roll on to clip four. And it'll be sweet. Yeah. 
example of, it's a movie yeah, it. and it's all cool special effects, but it's an example of complete sacrifice and protection. And the thing is, is that if you have a relationship with God, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on a cross and rose again, there's no better example of sacrifice. Jesus died on the cross and sacrificed himself so that we could all have a relationship with God. And when I see the protection in that, you know, the fact is that God's protection is there to shield us from life. But sometimes we don't use that shield. We carry hurts for the rest of our life. Um, you know, 10 years ago, with all the school stuff that I went through, I've been carrying that hurt for so long. There's been this long journey of God just healing me on the inside. And a lot of the time when we get hurt, we carry that hurt because we have no way of dealing with it on the inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish with a challenge with you guys. Because I get every, every head bowed and every eye closed. Just for a couple of minutes. I just want this to be a personal moment. So if everyone can just respect the request, every head bowed and every eye closed, I want to challenge you guys. I want to challenge you. This opportunity that, that is here right in front of you to open your heart to God and to see for yourself whether it's real or not. If you're here on a Friday night, you're either questioning or you're here with a friend or whatever, but the fact is, is that you're not here by mistake. You're here for a reason. And I want to challenge you tonight to open your heart to God and to see if what I'm talking about, what you hear others talk about every Friday night, if it's real. So with every head bowed and every eye closed, I'm asking you to respect what's going on and respect other people as well. I want to give you an opportunity. If you have never had a relationship with God, you hear what is talked about, you hear about this protection, you hear about this relationship, you've never had it before, but you want to try it for yourself, I want to give you the opportunity, I want to challenge you to try it, and I want to give you the opportunity now. Or if you've had a relationship before, but you just, you've just gone outside those boundaries, way outside those boundaries, because you wanted to see what it's like, because you were hurting so much and you didn't know what to do about it, so you go, hey, go have fun, get outside the boundaries, do whatever you can to mask the hurt and the pain you feel. If anyone's in that place or in those categories, I want to give you the opportunity, I want to pray for you tonight. For you to open your heart to God to see if, if that relationship is real, to, to feel it for yourself. So with every head bowed and every eye closed, I want to give you the opportunity. If that's you, I want to ask you to put your hand up. If you want to have that relationship with God, if you want to try that, if you want to see what we're talking about up here is real, if you want to know for yourself, then I want to challenge you, try it. If you're feeling like a... You know, like a nervousness on the inside. If you're feeling something different on the inside, that's just God saying hi. That's just God saying, hey, I want a relationship with you. God wants a relationship with every single person in this auditorium. He wants to know you personally. He wants you to know him personally, to know his protection, to know his love. Don't miss this opportunity because you're afraid of what someone next to you will think. Because I guarantee you, this is the most important decision that you'll ever make. This is the decision that completely turned my life around. So I want to give that one last opportunity. No one else is looking around. It's just between you and me and God. Because I want to pray for anyone who wants to have that relationship. If that's you, just stick your hand in the air. That's cool. I see those hands. Awesome. Just stick your hand in the air. That's cool. Hands going up everywhere. That's awesome, guys. What you sticking your hand up in the air means is that this is just saying, God, I want to try this. What the Bible says is you'd be a Christian, you have to believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. 